There's a big difference between opinions and facts. Opinions, we can argue all day, and we do for fun sometimes. If we want to talk about what's the best flavor of ice cream, that's, that can be a fun conversation, but what does it really even get to? Because if you like vanilla and I like chocolate, you're not going to sway my opinion. Managing the sixth largest highway system in the country is a lot more complicated than making ice cream. But in both cases, you have to have a good grasp of what your resources are before you can manage them. West Virginia Division of Highways has made great strides in the past year with new reporting units in each district and the new Strategic Management Division in Central Office. Working together, the districts and Central Office are balancing the needs of our roadway system across the state so that things get better over time. The reporting unit provides me with how, what it takes to make the ice cream, how we made it, how much it cost us to make it, and how much it's going to cost us to make ice cream tomorrow. You know, if you don't have someone who's actually watching to see what happens on a daily basis, it's very easy for the day-to-day -day little mistakes to add up to something huge. And then you have a real problem. Creating the new Strategic Performance Division that actually will, will manage this data, turn it into useful information that we can then disparage to the decision makers and to the people that do the work is exactly what we're all about. So this is what we need to focus on. It's not just one division. It's all division and that's what the management is doing. Our, our bridge programs in the past have been a little bit of a, a hodgepodge. Basically you take the bridge money that you have and you divide it into different buckets, different categories of bridges and then you assign certain amounts of funding to those things and sometimes it just doesn't match up with the needs of what actually needs to happen out there. The reporting unit's objectives are, number one is to be a, a level of quality control and quality assurance on data entry that's done by the counties and our interstate organizations. They then take that information and compile it into a report which can be compressed into one sheet of paper that will tell me everything a county has done in an entire maintenance season on one sheet of paper. That one sheet of paper then I can make million dollar decisions on where to pave, where do we need to patch more next year. He knows how many tons, how many feet, how many shoulder miles, how many everything and he can look at that and he has the foresight and ability to look forward and say oh well we're probably going to patch more than we did so we're going to up this a little bit or we're going to patch you know we had some big purchase order pavings that we're not going to have to patch so we'll we'll cut that back a little bit and use that money somewhere else when i say i've got to patch 6000 tons i've got to ditch 333 center line miles i've got to mow 4000 shoulder miles I put in 3,000 linear feet of pipe last year, and I'll probably put in another 3,000 linear feet this year. I used 11,000 tons of salt in this county last year, and my four-year average is 9,000 tons. So therefore, anyone can look at that and say, well, that's how much it costs to do business in that county. I am going to support 100% the vision to bring DOT to the first leading state because that's what we're supposed to do. The, uh, the Roads to Prosperity program of the governor moved this thing along tremendously and, and as, as you know, every Road to Prosperity contains a bridge to the future.